Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will be creating a React app from scratch using a uh, using Babel or uh, uh, Babel Seven uh, Web Pack Pro and ESNT. So, firstly, you go to your to your terminal. Then you go to your terminal. You create this directory. Call it a uh, uh, P React app. Uh, that's create React app scratch. And you move into that directory. You move into that directory. And next, you run npm init v dash y flag. This to initialize it immediately, and then next uh, we'll just open that in your code editor, and that's all. Um, so, so this is it. Um, next, uh, after, after running that npm init, this is what you will get after running the npm init. Your package that JSON file. No, you won't be having this dependencies. These two objects I just added them, so you will have to add them too under the script tag uh, under the script object in your package that JSON file. Just add these two other objects. The dependencies for our React and DOM, a React DOM dependency. Then as the dependency, we have this dependency to transpile our code. Then we have the ESLint for uh, for linting. Then um. We have this package for our, our template, our HTML template, and next um, the webpack, which is for our webpack bonding, bonding our code. And that's all for this. So uh, to do next step for this is for you to run npm i. After this, uh, you have to copy this this dependencies in your own package of JSON file. So please just post and copy these dependencies, all of them, like that, in your package of JSON file. So after copying them, go to your terminal. And just run npm init npm i sorry. So you will just run npm i after running the npm i, and you will get all your packages installed and everything will be ready for us to go forward. So uh, we just go ahead and configure our Babel. So we will create a file a file in our root directory called Babel. Uh, webpack sorry not Babel webpack called webpack. Dot config dot js file and in that file we have a module export this and in this uh, object module export we have other objects firstly we have the module this is an object that takes rows this is an array of objects test it's on it's gonna test for look for every file that ends with the dot sorry this is a regular expression so it's gonna look for every file that ends with the dot gs or gsx extension and there uh, it's gonna compile the transpile using First, before that, we need to exclude. Let's not forget to exclude the files in our new module. A new modules folder, and also it is going to use an object. It's going to use a, a loader to transpile which is carbon loader. We have this installed as a dependency already. So it's supposed to be in the boot. So this is all for that. Next, um, this is to transpile our JavaScript code. Next, it is also going to look for the uh, SGML code. It's going to look for HTML code. Every file that, that, that ends with the dot HTML extension. HTML extension and this is going to use as loader here it's gonna use as loader HTML loader so next is in case you will be using CSS this is for our CSS also going to be our CSS file Look for any any file that ends with the extension CSS. Um, and it is going to use this time. This is an array. 
CSS loader loader CSS and style loader okay cool now let us okay let me go for our modules let's just let's go for our modules but the first thing happened is yeah yeah it's okay but usually people is some uh, some other guys would go and then you create an empty file like will tell what back to look for an entry file in and source in the source folder called index.htn.css.js sorry but this i won't be using that I, I want to tell what back to compile to do bundle every file in the source file folder that, that has the extension of um of the js so this is what this one does every file not only in the source folder but in the data yeah in this uh, directory that ends with the JSS extension of JS and transpile it using a bubble loader. So um, <coughs> this is all for the uh, part that we have to deal with transpiling. So the next thing is to create is to also set a plugin. As plugin, I'm gonna use a this is an array that takes in plugin called HTML Bank. So we need to we need to import that plugin to on HTML Webpack plugin. So it's gonna be an important plugin. So that's like how your component is gonna create a an instance of that component and geom plugin. This takes in template an object as its parameter and that object has template. It expects to see see a folder called public and the people will be creating that template in will be accessing the index js.html file and file name um, html so this is this is good this is all this is all for our webpack configuration so in case there's any other thing I will do that next so for our next step we will have to configure adding so we go to the root and we create a bubble RC file and in that you do presets as presets we do user user presets here bubble a bubble presets and bubble reset blocks these are presets we're gonna use so this is our presets Bubble presets react. So this one is okay for bubble now. So next step is to create a folder called source. And in that folder we have to create another folder. Folder not found. Create another folder called um, components. And in that components mode, I create an app component. So, in that app component, let's just create a component at once. We have a to the app. So, this is the React. It's going to be a class component. As a render, a render method. This render method is a lifecycle method for area components.
so that is it's okay it's not good so we just need to export that so we're good so now in a source file we need to create a file called index but yes we'll be importing Importing React. React. Also import React. And import the app component we just created. Next we'll do we have to dump the render. We are going to look in our index file. Get an element by ID. Good. That's why. This is good. Next is to create that public folder where we have a template in that public folder index that HTML template. And this is this is the only folder that is gonna exist in this template. Get the get ID of the root. And this is all about this one. So if we have a colon, so I think this is all, this is all we need to transpire to be able to transpire our code. So let's go to a package.json file, and that's go to the script and just add these two scripts there. This one is to start a development server, while this one is to, is to build the, is to transpire the, the, the code to see to ESX for production. So let's just run this. So that's gonna build a uh, uh, code to transfer it to uh, PS5 for production. It is going to create a folder called the dist, and in that dist folder, we'll be having two files. One file is called main.js to hold all the JavaScript code, will be JSX and the ESX code that has been transferred to JavaScript. Everything will be in that folder. Then the index.html so just to hold the index.html template, which is for the case of uh, the planet. So this is just it. Yeah. Okay. But well, it doesn't belt. So this is this is added. these are the two files I talked about, and this is very bulky code. This is all that small code we just wrote. Look at how it looks bulky. And transport. So that's it. So now, next thing is to run our server. Let's confirm that it works. So, this is gonna take some time. And after that, um, we we'll just go ahead and configure our. we we'll just go ahead and configure our ES. Yes, so, so far, I think we've uh, got back and the rest in work. Everything's working okay. 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 I'll get up. So go to your file, your folder, create a file called ESLint RC. Well, I already have a code for this, so I don't have to be like that, so that it won't take much of our time. But first, let's just look at how our server looks. So this is the this is a code for our Yes, the power so You just copy this, copy this and paste it in the code. In your your C file. Apparently, it shows that our app, our, our, our setup was successful. So now we're just gonna set, uh, configure ESD for the project. So when we copy this, I think it's gonna start working. So this one, 
Yeah, they are setting the environment for not an ESX. And also, setting the guideline to the guides to the design guide to be ABM base. Global Atomic, Sheraton. Then uh, we have um, Bubble ESD. And uh, Modulum and GX. That's ECMA features, seven ECMA feature. Then as part plugins, we have import and we have. This is the only role we have set for this entire project. And it shows that seeing this red means that ES2017 action and it's already shouting somewhere. So let's look at this ES2017 working. You see, you see, expected this to be used by class method render. It shows that ES2017 is ready in action. And also, our app is running on our server. Here. So, well, so this is cool. This is really good. So, thank you for following up this tutorial. Please kindly share, uh, like, subscribe, and also please I'd like you to give me feedback on how to do it better next time because I know that there must be some flaws in my way of talking. So, please, if there's anything that isn't that doesn't look good, just post it in the comment uh, below and have a look at it and be able to improve on the next video. Thanks very much for your time and see you in the next video.